See, there ain't supposed to be no bad days in your life. Every day that you get up, you're supposed to say, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Because He's my shepherd. And I don't want... It don't matter what happens. He's still my shepherd. And I don't want for nothing else. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Oh, that's good stuff. Amen. That's good preaching. Amen. Amen. He's my shepherd. Yeah. This is the day that my shepherd is made. Yeah. I will rejoice. Well, what if somebody looks at you? I will rejoice. What if somebody cuts you? I will rejoice. What if somebody cuts you off in traffic? I will rejoice. What if you get fired? I will rejoice and be glad in it because this is the day that my God, my Lord, my shepherd has made. All right. And I will rejoice. Amen. And be glad in it. Not so easy for us. Amen. Not so easy for us because we get more wrapped up in the blessings than we are the blesser. Right. Amen. Yeah. Amen. We get more wrapped up in the blessings. Yeah. And when they get cut off, we forget about the blessing. Right. You know, we forget about the worship that the blesser deserves, regardless of what kind of blessings going on in our life. All right. This is a day the Lord has made. All the days of my life, yeah. goodness and mercy follows me. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen? I will make it. The valley will not prevent me from making it. The trial will not prevent me. Matter of fact, it will make me stronger. It will give me more determination to make it than it ever has before. See, the devil, the enemy, looks at the valley as an opportunity to destroy you. God looks at the valley as an opportunity to make you stronger. The enemy looks at it as an opportunity to make you weak. The, the master potter, amen, the master potter looks at it as a way to mold you and to make you into what he wants you to be. Hallelujah. If the clay could talk, when it saw the wheel there, he would think, oh no. Yeah. Going to be a lot of pressure going on here. Amen. I'm going to be spinning so fast I ain't going to know which ends up. Anybody ever been there before? No. <laughs> a lot of pressure going on. Amen. So the clay looks at the, looks at the wheel as maybe something not to be desired, but the potter, he looks at it as a place to mold the clay. That's right. To make the clay into the image that he would have it to be. All right. Amen. Amen. This valley we didn't get to last week. The valley of dry bones. All right. Amen. Come on. In the valley I will hear his word. His spirit will move on his word. And there will be life where death was. Yeah. The Bible says in Ezekiel, the 37th chapter, and I'll give you a second to get there. While I take off my watch and put it on the front pew because I really don't care what time it is. <laughs> Ezekiel, the 37th chapter in the first verse. Are you, do you have it? Say me. Ezekiel 37 and 1. Ezekiel's getting ready to look into a valley. And you see God's Word, all Scripture, even this right here, you can see yourself in this picture if you'll look. You can see yourself in this account that the prophet gives if you'll look. Right. He says in Ezekiel 37 and 1, the hand of the Lord was upon me. And He carried me out in the Spirit of the Lord. Oh, we could use some of that, couldn't we? Amen. And set me down in the midst of a valley which was full of dry bones, which was full of bones, and caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were many in the open valley. And lo, they were very dry. Have you ever been there? Oh, Sister Nancy testified about that this morning. I can use her as an example. She's been there for a while. Till this morning, she got some rain. <laughs> Amen. She said she felt like she's dry. Been going through a dry place. If you ain't never been there, you will be sooner or later. Amen. If you ain't never been through these valleys, God bless your heart. You're just one of the most powerful saints I've ever known. <laughs> Amen. I know these jokers on television, they don't want you to think about the valley or going through the valley. Amen. But the valley is what will make you. If all you ever believe is just the mountaintop experience, once you hit the valley, you're going to think you're lost as a ball in high weeds. Throw up your hands and give up. Yeah. you got to know that life is full of these kind of times. That, that your journey is full of these kind of valleys and mountains. Amen? Come on. Thank God for them because all of them work for your good. Mountaintop, valleys, mountainside, amen, all that. It says, the hand of the Lord was upon me, and the Spirit of the Lord brought me to this valley. And he saw these bones, Sister Nancy. And he said they were very dry. Amen? Amen. And he said unto me, the Lord asks him a question. He says, Son of man, can these bones live? 
And Ezekiel answers to him and says, he says, and I answered, O Lord God, Thou knowest. <laughs> Amen. 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 Have you ever been there? Yes, sir. Have you ever been to the place where you thought, man, is there any good going to come out of this situation at all? Yeah, really? Can this situation bring forth life at all? And maybe you even said, Lord, only you know. And oh yeah, he does know. Yeah. Right. <laughs> all things work together for your good. Right here, right smack dab in this valley of dry bones. Mm -hmm. We see the same answer that David tells us about over there in Psalms, the 23rd chapter. Again, he said unto me, prophesy upon these bones mm -hmm. and say unto them, O ye bones, listen to this, hear the word of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Now what did David say over there in Psalms 23? He said that I will fear no evil because what? Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thy word and thy promises bring me life in the valley of the shadow of death. Here we find these dry bones that have filled the valley and the Lord tells the prophet, prophesy to the bones and tell them this, hear the word of the Lord. See, that's His message to you when you're in the valley, Brother Bill. Yeah. Hear the Word yeah. of the Lord. Amen. The rod and the staff that we saw in Psalms 23, we see here in the valley of dry bones, whenever the prophet begins to speak the Word of God, thy rod and thy staff, the Bible says that thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you, and will bring flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and ye shall live live. Somebody say ye shall live. Ye shall live. God wants you to know today that right smack dab in your valley of dry bones you're going to live. You ain't going to die. You're not going to dry up and blow away. There's life to be found in the valley through His Word. There's water to be found in the valley through His Word. There's food to be found in the valley through His Word. Come on, brother. Amen. Oh, goodness. Listen what happens. So I prophesied as I was commanded. Mm. Yeah. My goodness, I'm fixing to have a fit. I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a noise. <laughs> Hallelujah. My goodness. I ain't, I've been in this valley so long, I ain't heard from God. I ain't smelled God. I ain't seen God. Begin to feed upon His rod and His staff. And you'll begin to hear a noise. You'll begin to see how Romans 8 and 28 says all oh, things. I don't understand it. I don't like it, Sister Nancy. I feel like it's about to kill me. But all things work together for good to those that love God. And that's me. To those that are called according to His purpose, Brother Bill. And that's me. And I claim that promise. I stand on the everlasting, undiluted, on, eternal you. word of the living God, and I claim it for my own. All right. That's the truth. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. His word. When the prophet began to speak the word of God yeah. to these bones, mm -hmm. these dry bones, yeah. it says, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking. And the bones came together. Yeah. Bone to his bone. Yeah. And I beheld sinews and the flesh came upon them. Yeah. And the skin covered them above. Yeah. But there was no breath in them. Mm. Bones came together. Skin. For the people to steal no life. Steal no breath. Well, I've been in the valley before. And you know, I felt the shaking and I heard a noise, but I still felt about half dead. No lie. Amen. What happens? Let's see what happened next. I'm closing. This is what it says. There was no breath in them. Verse 9 says, Then he said unto me, Prophesy unto the wind. Prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus saith the Lord God. There's that rod and staff. God's Word. Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon the slain that they may live. Amen. So I prophesied. Listen to this. As he come, what's he doing? He's speaking the word of God. Amen. There is victory to be found when you speak the word of God. Amen. When you begin to quote the word of God, when you begin to eat and feed upon the word of God in the valley. Come on. So he begins to do again what the Lord commanded him to do. Right. And it says, I prophesied as He commanded me. All right. And the breath came into them. Amen. 
Somebody saying they lived. And they lived. Remember what the prophet said? He said, the Lord asked him, can they live? Yeah. And he said, you don't want those. That's it. He just answered the question. Amen. He just answered it by putting it to action. Amen. Yeah. Breath came into their bodies and they lived. Amen. All right. And they lived. And they stood up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My goodness, how they pass out. And they stood up right. upon their feet. Amen. An exceeding great army. Right. You see, the enemy has looked over your life, saw you in the reap and the, the of the, the, the rumble and the rubbish that he left behind. And he must saw you covered up, thinking they'll never rise again. Yeah. And God's word begins to prophesy. Oh, God's word prophesies to me every day. His promises are to me every day. All right. His mercy is new every morning. Amen. Amen. That's true. His word begins to breathe the life back into me. Yes, sir. Yeah. Brother Slees, help me preach. His Word begins to breathe life. Brother Bill, when it seemed like I was down for the count, when it seemed like I was under a load I could not bear, I begin to read and feed upon His Word and I begin to see how that all things are possible with God. With man, all things are not possible. But with God, all things are possible. I begin to see how that all things work together for my good and this thing ain't going to kill me. It's going to make me stronger and I begin to feel strength in my old weak knees in my old weak legs and I begin to stand up and I begin to get breath in my old weak body coming from the word of the living God hallelujah when he begins to prophesy to me from his book when I begin to grab a hold of the rod and the staff right in the middle of the battle right in the middle of the valley I begin to feel strength I begin to feel strength. I begin to rise up. I begin to rise up. And then guess what? The enemy don't see that old Christian that he thought he had beaten, bruised, and battered. He sees an army rising up out of the valley of dry bones because the Word of God had prophesied life back into them. Thank you, Jesus. Praise your holy name. His Word prophesied life. Back into me. Come on, brother. Yeah. So next time you see me, yeah. and you look over somebody and say, think he can live? Yeah. I say, well, only the Lord knows. That's it. Just keep watching. Come on. Just keep watching. Amen. As long as I don't let go of my staff. Yes, sir. As long as I don't let go of my rod. Yeah. As long as I don't let go of His Word. Oh, Honey, I might have to go through hell and high water. But if I hold on to His Word, heaven and earth will pass away. But His Word will remain forever. His promises from Genesis to Revelation belong to me. Billy Douglas and I stand on them. I claim them. I feed upon them. They are for me. And I will make it to, not because of who I am, but because of who I serve. And who I serve. Shepherd is and his word, his rod and his staff that comforts me. Hallelujah. That John, gives me brother. life yes, in the valley of dry bones. Come on. That's it. In the valley of death. Preaching. In the valley of weeping. Yes, sir. In the valley of ono. All right. That's what we usually say when we hit the valley, amen. Uh, oh, no. oh no. Amen. Oh yes. The promises of God are yea and amen. All right. His promises are for me. Yes, sir. I'm telling you today that what you need to make it through your trial is in this book. Yes, sir. What you need to make it through your valley is in this book.